So my cousin had called me earlier this year, and she said, you know, you need to come to Belize because we've been called. And I'm like, okay. She goes, the ancestors, there's a message for us. We're supposed to meet at the temple. You know, you need to get your outfits made. And it was, it was beautiful because not everybody knew I was gay in my family. Like my father knows, but not each, not everyone. And she was like, but you're okay. If you want to get, if you want to get a man's outfit made for you, you can do that too because the ancestors accept you as you are. And I just thought that was so beautiful that she would say that to me. <laughs> at the t it was actually, and it, it wasn't something we'd put it for conversation, but she, she just wanted me to know that if, if I needed, if I didn't want to get the dress made, I could get um, like the pants made and the shirt made. And so, Ashe. Ashe. And so um, I have not made it this year. I will make it next year. But I didn't find out as of this election as why everyone was being called. And so she said she went, you know, and the ancestors had said that we need to, you know, strengthen the community, go back to our roots. And it was the message that we all need it as we go into what we're going to go into with the next four, eight, whatever years, uh, what it is. Four, we hope. <laughs> but a lot could be done. So one day at a time. So I wanted to sing one song, uh, more than one, but this particular song I wanted to open with a piece from is I always love this because it was a spiritual that when, uh, a spirit, when a slave rebellion would go awry, this is a song they would sing to let everyone know, you know, we'll do it next time, or that, uh, it, it, that it, there was not, not to be heavy hearted, that this was just a setback. Didn't hear nobody pray. Didn't hear nobody pray. Way down yonder by myself. But I didn't hear nobody pray. Didn't hear nobody pray in the valley. Didn't hear nobody pray on my knees. Didn't hear nobody pray with my burden way down yonder by myself. But I didn't hear nobody pray in the valley. I didn't hear nobody pray on my knees. Didn't hear nobody pray with my burdens way down yonder. By myself, but I didn't hear nobody pray. And this next one, thank you. This next one. I always loved because as I was, grew up, strange house, very devout, devout Jehovah's Witnesses on one hand and the other side of the family, devout Catholics. And it was interesting. <laughs> but my mother fought for the right for me to join this choir to learn Negro spirituals because she felt that was history. And so though she received a lot of flack, she felt, and she, she took it. To, to the, and said, no, you know, I don't think this is worldly. This is our history. And so this one I definitely liked because uh, they all have different tones, but this one I think is, was around the time that slavery had ended. And so it just had that different kind of fight to it that you could hear.
and I'll be free, and there'll be no more weeping, no more weeping, no Kayla Marine, remember that name.